happy Thursday. So I really want to talk to you guys about summertime. Summertime, summertime. I'm going to give everybody a minute to jump on. I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. You're feeling fabulous because it's Thursday. And what's not to love about Thursdays, right? Of course. All right, guys. So here's yesterday, and it definitely is something to think about, but it's also something that can be avoided. So a lot of people are concerned that they're not going to um, be able to enjoy their summer, or they complained that last year they missed out on their summer because they were working nonstop. That's one complaint, and the other complaint is people have a hard time staying on task um, and not getting, like, not procrastinating or getting um, lost or whatever because they want to be outside. So there's a few things that you can do in your schedule to prevent those two things from happening. There's absolutely no reason why, if you want to get outside and enjoy the summer and enjoy some time outside, that you can't. The only thing that can stop you is poor planning, quite honestly. And that will be, it's that's all you. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to give you guys a few tips and things that I know can help you prevent the summer from passing you by while you still are being productive and being able to, you know, do whatever it is that you want to or need to be doing. So definitely, I mean, I know it all goes back to this with me, but it's really planning for it. You really have to just be proactive. So, for example, say you want to take a long weekend and you're like, well, I really would like to take Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. No work, right? And if you have the ability to do that, whether you own your own business or you have that, like, flexibility with your schedule, it's totally possible. So then what you do is you plan for that during the week. Maybe you work an extra hour every day, Monday through Thursday. Maybe you go in like super hyperactive focus mode Monday through Thursday. But you can plan those other four days to get everything done that you need to get done so you can take Friday off and enjoy your long weekend. So there's one thing that you can do. Another thing that you can do is plan one day during the week. Maybe it's Wednesday, maybe it's Tuesday, whatever it may be. Make your plan on Sunday and say, okay, I'm going to spend one day this week outside. I'm going to take an afternoon off or I'm going to take the morning off or I'm going to leave work an hour early, whatever it may be. Choose that time and stick to the damn plan. So if you put it in the plan, stick to it and make it happen. And you're able to then adjust your schedule on the other days of the week to be able to give you the freedom and the ability to leave work early and go outside and enjoy the weather, go down to the park, go fishing, go whatever it is that you want to do during that time to get out and actually enjoy your summer, there you go, you have the time, you allowed the time and space for that to happen. So you're able, like I said, you're able to then plan. You can plan to make up for that time that you're gonna take on Wednesday to go outside and do what you wanna do and enjoy your summer. Does that make sense? Right, see, it's possible. And the next thing would be, so say you want to, have softball league or you want to take your dogs walking multiple days a week or you want to go hiking and exploring different places near you every day you know whatever your goal is whatever is important to you or whatever enjoying your summer looks like to you so if that's the case you're able to do that but just adjust your schedule so say you get up a little bit earlier every morning say you get up an extra hour earlier um, then or you take 30 minutes for lunch instead of an hour for lunch then that way you can cut your work day and you can leave an hour early or two hours early and then have your afternoon because it's not getting dark until you know 8 8 30 9 o'clock almost so then you have plenty of time if you plan for it and you can use that time however you'd like you can be outside and do whatever but you have plenty of time in your day if you plan for it and are able to know what it is you're doing when you go into the day shit you can bring your stuff with you to work if you don't work at home and you want to go from work to go fishing or go jogging or go whatever it is that you're wanting to do outside. So being like planning that into your schedule and saying, I'm going to spend, you know, all of these days doing these certain things outside in the afternoon. And then you have your stuff with you. 
then you go straight from work or you leave when you're supposed to and you go and enjoy it. So the other thing is, is, is if you have the ability, but you know, you're not really necessarily wanting to do any specific tasks outside during the week or like um, activities, but you just want to be outside, then think about what parts of your business you can do outside. Like I typically do a lot of phone calls outside. My, my neighborhood's really quiet. So I always put my headphones in and I walk around in my backyard. I sit on my patio. I walk around in my front yard. Just whatever I you know feel like doing, but I want to get outside. Then I make that a point. Or in the morning time, I spend my, you know, do my journaling and my um, reading and stuff out in the morning or outside with the dog. So I spend that time doing it. So you're able to still fit in those outdoor times that you're craving into your schedule, even if there aren't specific tasks that you're wanting to um, do or certain activities each day. But at least you're getting out there and you're not like being hermit city and like going from one room to another or going from your house to an office, from your office to your house. So that's a big thing. Um, is this really being super aware of how you're spending your time and how you actually want to spend your time? Because it all comes down to what choices you make and what you choose to do. Um, if you choose to be proactive about what you're doing and be prepared for your day in order to spend it the way that you want to spend it, then that's exactly what's going to happen. But it's really, really up to you. And these are just some tips and things that you can do to help make sure that those things happen in your day. And again, it all goes back to just being proactive and planning and being prepared for what's coming at you each day. But it is possible. Don't use the excuse I don't have enough time because that's bullshit and we all know it. We all have plenty of time. We choose to spend our time how we want to spend our time. So you can always get your tasks done. Thank you. Trust me. <laughs> I have done some um, amazing amounts of um, tasks in a small amount of time when I had to. So I think we've all been there. But those are my tips for you guys today. Just wanted to share that with you. I really don't want anybody to come to me and be like, man, summer totally passed me by and I still didn't even get done what I wanted to get done or whatever it may be. The whole point is, is that I believe that your life is your business, your job. Everything is one and you need to treat it as such, but you need to enjoy it because if you don't, then you're going to burn out and you're not going to get the things that you want and you're not going to be happy and nobody wants that. So definitely think about these things and how you can utilize some of them in your day and in your schedule um, to make sure that you're able to get outside and enjoy this nice time while we have it. Unless you live in a place that you have it all the time, lucky you, but still, you know, you still have, everybody has their, their seasons and whatever, but just some tips for you guys um, to make sure that you're enjoying life and not missing out on summer and different things that you want to do. So if anybody has any questions, as always, please comment below. Let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer them. If you like this video and podcast, please share it or give it a thumbs up. I totally appreciate that. And thank you for watching. I'll be back live tomorrow around the same time. So I'm typically trying to get on um, between 11.30 and 12.30. But if you hit that live subscribe button, which I believe is somewhere up here, then it'll let you know when I go live so you can jump on and then you can actually even ask your questions uh, like a live Q&A type thing. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have an amazing rest of your day.